Hey, this is Tom, and this is day 90 of 100 Days of Making Minis. And today was extremely productive and fun. Had a blast, did all sorts of different projects. Um, sculpted on the Owl Swordmaster, started painting a miniature, and um, put together more Gene Stealers. So I put together the rest of the command models for the Gene Stealers. It was unfortunate that um, a couple of the fingers off of this guy and on a couple of the little dudes that I put together busted off, but no biggie. I guess uh, that's the risk you take when you work in the mines, which apparently is kind of the storyline behind where these guys are kind of springing up from and stuff. But man, they're so cool. Can't wait to paint those guys. Uh, but here's why I decided to start painting today. This is one of my favorite miniatures of all time. It's the henchman from Advanced Hero Quest. I've got a ton of these guys and I always dreamed of painting them up to be um, a unit for my Border Prince's Empire Army and never ended up building that army. So maybe someday um, if I decide to do that with Old Hammer or maybe I'll play with it in a different system. But I decided I want I need to jump in and start painting something and this is super simple straightforward miniature and I just really like it. So decided to start on this guy. I got most of the base colors done. Have a little bit more to do on the arm, armor and then kind of his uh, pants and shirt. Uh, and then we'll, I'll go into all the highlights and, and stuff. But I really like these guys because I think they're, they're very quick to paint. And uh, oh, the reason I'm painting this is uh, I decided for Relic Blade, I want to have a questing knight with a billman. But that if I'm playing the campaign, that leaves me with a ton of points, but not enough to buy anybody else good. So he's going to be my second Billman miniature to accompany the uh, really cool one that Sean sculpted for his game. So that'll be a fun little project. Oh, I almost forgot to mention this. I got some really cool figures in the mail today from Patrick Keith at Bombshell from the latest Babes. Actually, this figure is from the latest Babes Kickstarter, and the other one. Uh, is an earlier release that I just completely missed, was unaware of. So this is a really cool uh, wizard figure from, or I think it's this maybe called the Oracle from Patrick. Very cool, lots of detail, very neat and unique character. And I love barbarians, so anytime I can find a cool barbarian miniature, I try and pick it up. And this is uh, uh, Rania. I think is how you pronounce it, like Sonia with an R. Uh, but this, I didn't realize, I thought this was one of Patrick's, but this is actually sculpted by uh, another friend of mine, Chad Hovarder. So very good job, man. Can't wait to put this together and paint it up. And on to the most important work, the Owl Swordmaster. So as you can see here, I've bulked it up considerably more since you saw it yesterday. And um, feeling I'm really starting to get into the groove of this miniature. I talked a little bit uh, the other day about how you kind of... It can be a little tricky when you're when you're first starting the bulking out because you're just feeling your way around. You you really have to push and work fast, and um, but you get to a point, and this is why you need to work fast. You need to get as much on there as possible, and try not to spend too much time worrying about getting things smooth, which is tough for me because I like my figure to look fairly clean as I'm going forward. Um, but you really need to get as much on there as possible so you can understand and see how the whole thing will work. Because yesterday when I was bulking it out, it looked a little bit too dainty. Um, just wasn't didn't wasn't didn't have the kind of character even even in this stage when there's so much more to do. Uh, but once I got kind of the things in the more appropriately sized proportions and everything, it just really helped the figure stand out and and started coming together in my mind. And now I'm really feeling it. I'm really excited to work on it, and I can I feel like I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's basically the way I feel every time I work on any miniature. So don't worry if you're feeling that way too. It's perfectly normal. Just work as fast as you can in those early stages to get it to the point where you've got everything kind of pretty much figured out. Because once you get there, then it's just a matter of rendering details, fine-tuning things, and uh, you know just putting in the rest of the time. It's much less uh, anxiety, at least for me. All right, well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.